Variable market in India is thriving. As per Counterpoint Research latest report, the Indian variable market grew 173% in the first quarter of 2022. The homegrown lifestyle tech brand Noise holds the most number of budget variables and might continue this trend in the coming quarters. Noise has now set up a dedicated R&D team to further innovate in the category. We interacted with Amit Khatri, co-founder of Noise, to talk about his latest venture Noise Lab and to discuss various technology aspects of the budget variables. Let's get started. 23% market share in quarter 1 2022, if I'm not wrong. So it's a huge figure, 27%. Yeah. So could you share some numbers, how many units Noise has sold and what was that one hero product that made it all possible for you? So we, the market was close to 12 to 13 mil of uh, overall size. Okay. And we did, uh, we did close to 2.5 mil, uh, 2.5 to 3 mil out of that. And uh, our flagship hero product was Pro2 and Pro3. These are two products uh, which made us with. Okay. So, and so in, in terms of uh, product, if I, uh, if you ask me, uh, those, these products are mid, mid-level watches with not AMOLED displays, but yeah, high resolution. But okay. good accuracy in terms of sleep and steps. So noise labs, kya hai? Matlab, can you share yeah, some insights so, from noise? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming, coming on to noise labs. So, you know, uh, Noise Labs, we are trying to build a tech incubator, Rohit, where we have hived off uh, a different vertical where the teams could work on futuristic products. So let's say if you look at okay. it right now, all, all energies, what we put is in the problem, solving the problem for today. What, what consumers are looking for the product today, what features they are looking for. So we want to pivot the organization to the products which are made for future. So that's that's what we are trying to build. So entire pieces of building to futuristic products. When you say futuristic products, you are catering to just wearables or noise is open to exploring other product categories. So Rohit, uh, noise as a brand is a connected lifestyle. So we are open to enter into any ecosystem which would make uh, life simpler for our consumers. But, but as an organization, we would intend to go deeper in uh, wearable, hearable. Right. If you look at it, entire, uh, if you look at the entire ecosystem, everybody is talking about uh, what product features to bring in today. None of the hmm. brands are able to focus on what's coming after two years. So, you know, if you, if you divide set of consumers, there are early adopters, there are innovators, and then there are... Uh, uh, a majority adopters or early early ones, early majority mm-hmm. ones. So right now, entire business of nation is focused on early adopters or late adopters. We want to focus on the innovators and uh, the early adopters space where where they are twenty percent of the basic chunk of the brand. Right. Good. Acha, Amit, uh, I have noticed one thing: these budget variables, are not, they keep. They track your data, they store it on the device or with a companion uh, smartphone or a tablet. But is data ka use kaise ho I mean, what, do you, what is your opinion about a subscription based model where the data can be sent to a health expert and that particular health expert is giving you important insights to make the best out of that data? So Rohit, absolutely right. Uh, this is what you're talking about future. So the perspective of building noise labs is work on futuristic things. So when you look at variable, like you, in, in mm-hmm. our last conversation, you didn't spoke about anything about data. Just spoke yes. steps and sleep. Yes. So the entire idea is to build an ecosystem where this data can give you more meaningful insights. Maybe how well you have slept, how well you can sleep, what you can do to sleep better, connected to doctors or whatever, whatever you need. Another important aspect I think I want to discuss it with you. How about rechargeable miniaturized solar cells that can keep the device going on for a longer period? Or uh, if can it can we make it possible that the wearable itself is recharging from the human skin? It's uh, Rohit, so you know this these all ideas fall into fall into a noise lab. So solar is something which we are actively exploring to work on. But so that's what you know. We uh, we all have a lot of ideas. Customers keep telling us 
do this, do that. There are a lot of uh, mm-hmm. tech folks who have idea, but they have not seen light to it. So this tech ecosystem we are trying to build so that we we are able to implement those ideas. And as as noise, if you see, we have got an infrastructure right now. Second okay. capital. So any idea needs infrastructure. It needs right. capital uh, to invest and make it possible. And third, more important is the community of uh, of your consumers actually who would uh, who would accept your idea. So noise at this scale have all three in place. So we are trying to leverage that and work on newer technologies and ideas. So this noise lab will be uh, established in Delhi and Sia. Or... Yeah, yeah, it's it's we are setting up very much, right now. We are very much setting up in Delhi and Sia, and we it's a separate uh, division which we have cut uh, off, and uh, it's a four to five people team right now, which is which will we'll keep adding more people with time. We are trying to set up this vertical so that design innovation happens in India and we are not. But other countries uh, on this area. What is your favorite variable from noise right now? Yeah, uh, I'll tell you, Rohit. Uh, so whatever product I do, we keep on testing it. I, I, myself personally, a user of all the products actually. So I keep on wearing one or the other design device any time. But Ultra Two is my favorite if you ask me because it has got an AMOLED display, which means. Uh, has got all vibrant colors which are coming in it has got fabulous design stainless steel body which doesn't exist so when you wear it it really looks premium and it keeps you aside from all the other players in the market and what's your view on this bluetooth calling affordable smart watches because i have tested one of that smart watch and uh, uh, that feature didn't work quite well for me bluetooth calling is an unstable feature Till a month back in the market because mm-hmm. two chipsets uh, to make it happen, and the two chipset the instability comes in. Okay, and that is the reason noise did enter the Bluetooth calling space a year back. There were technology available, but uh, adopted them. We have worked aggressively for six eight months to make it stable, and the new product which we have launched are far superior than them. Okay, users would find out. Interesting products coming out of noise labs. Not it. Thank you so much, Amit. I would love to words. come to your facility and have a chat with you in come, person come, so come, that we can come anytime. Looking forward and thank you for accommodating on a very short notice here. No worries. It's my pleasure to host you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.